Hi and welcome to section 4 where we will make changes to our application so that it becomes an Angular 2 application. We are specifically going to upgrade our services to Angular 2 first, then our directives. We are also going to use the new Angular 2 component router, introduce the new APIs and implement Angular 2 HTML syntax changes. Now we move on to the first video of this section where we're going to upgrade our services to Angular 2. First things first, we are going to introduce the ng upgrade package along with the upgrade adapter, which will allow us to mix Angular 1x and Angular 2 code during our migration process. Then we're going to update our application so that it's bootstrapped with upgrade adapter before upgrading our service to Angular 2. ng-upgrade and the upgrade adapter are tools developed by the Angular team to facilitate the upgrade process. What they do is allow us to mix code from both versions of Angular so that we can start writing some Angular 2 code and make it work in our 1x application. Use the following link as a reference in case of syntax issues or if anything doesn't work for you, as that document is regularly updated by the Angular team. Now let's see how to prepare our application for the upgrade. In Angular 2, there is no more ng-app, hence only the second alternative is possible, where we call angular.bootstrap from JavaScript. The upgrade adapter has to be the one that loads the application, as it is designed to take the exact same arguments as angular.bootstrap, making the switch easier. This means that we have to remove the ng-app declaration from our HTML code and use that code snippet instead. Once this is done, upgrade adapter is in place and we can start migrating our code to Angular 2. Let's do it in our sample application. First, we have to add Angular 2 to our package.json file to make sure that npm fetches all of our Angular 2 dependencies. Once the npm update is downloaded, we have to add those dependencies to index.html as shown on the screen. Now we can finally use Angular 2 in our project. Let's open app.module.ts. First I add this line to the import declarations. Then I declare a constant reference to our upgrade adapter. And at the bottom of the file, I add the code that will bootstrap our application from now on. Upgrade adapter.bootstrap, our main document element with our weather application. Then I go back to index.html where we can now remove the old ng app attribute used to bootstrap our 1x application. That's it. Our application is now ready to work in hybrid mode with both Angular 2 and Angular 1x. Let's now upgrade our services. The great news is that Angular 2 services are actually classes, so the work we've done in section 3 pays off. We're almost there. The only thing we have to do is make our services injectable by adding an annotation to them. And then, using our adapter to make our Angular 2 service backwards compatible with Angular 1. Once our application is fully migrated to Angular 2, we will be able to remove that adapter code from our services. Let's open locationService.ts. All we have to add here is import injectable from Angular 2 core to import the injectable annotation and then add the annotation to that class. And that's it. Then we go back to app.module.ts where we prepare our upgrade adapter by adding our service to it. Finally, we change the service declaration in our Angular app to the following. That way, our Angular 1x app will use a downgraded version of our brand new Angular 2 service. That's only temporary and we will remove that code once our entire code base is ready to run entirely with Angular 2. Now, some of your services might use dependency injection to access $HTTP or other Angular 1x services. We also need to know how to inject our service into other objects. With Angular 2 and TypeScript, constructors are used to inject objects based on class names. 
In add code example, an instance of the name service class will automatically be injected to that constructor. It is that simple. Sometimes we may need to inject a specific implementation like a subclass or a mock object. We can specify providers with annotations on our Angular 2 components in order to achieve that, as shown on our second code example here. In this video, we have migrated our services to Angular 2 and learned about ng-upgrade and its upgrade adapter.